Mastering demonstrative adjectives. Point your way in English. Hello, English learners. Welcome to our new lesson. Today, we're going to delve into a very important aspect of English grammar. Demonstrative adjectives. We'll explore what they are, how to use them, and practice a few examples. So, let's get started. Before we dive into the world of demonstrative adjectives, it's important to understand what they are. Demonstrative adjectives are words that modify nouns by indicating which one you mean specifically. In English, we have four demonstrative adjectives. This, that, these, and those. They help us distinguish between things that are close to us and things that are far away. Now let's look at how to use this and these. We use this to describe a singular noun that is near us in space or time. For example, this book is interesting. These is used for plural nouns that are near us. An example would be, these cookies are delicious. The words this and these help us point to items or situations that are close to us or are happening right now. They create a sense of immediacy. On the other side of the spectrum, we have that and those. We use that to describe a singular noun that is far from us in space or time. For instance, you could say, that mountain is far away. Those is used for plural nouns that are far from us. You might say, those buildings are old. Just like this and these, the words that and those help us identify and distinguish things. However, they're used to refer to things that are farther away or happened in the past. Understanding is one thing, but practice makes perfect. Let's take a few examples. 1. This shirt, nearby, is cheaper than that one, over there. 2. These apples, here, are fresher than those, over there. 3. That song, played earlier, was better than this one, playing now. Try to come up with your own examples using this, that, these, and those. It's a fun and practical way to master demonstrative adjectives. That's it for today's lesson on demonstrative adjectives. I hope you found this lesson useful. Remember, this, that, these, and those are your friends in English grammar. Keep practicing, and soon enough, you'll be using them with ease. Until next time, happy learning!